So Gorilla Glass is a product we came up with about three years ago, right? Just in the last few years. And it's really, really come out as a, as a response to the touch market, right? The adoption of these touch sensors and touch interfaces to mobile devices. The requirement for a very thin and a very tough material. Um, so in the last three years we came out with it and what's been tremendous, I mean we're already on 350 models at this point, right? I mean it's just the growth has been tremendous for us and the push to thinner and thinner devices um, and, and thinner modules within the device, um, Gorilla has met that expectation and we really look forward to the future. Um, there, there's, there's some terms out there called discrete and then one glass solution in which we have a program called FIT to address that. And discrete is kind of your standard product that's out in the marketplace where you have a discrete piece of Gorilla Glass and then they laminate various sensors below that so there's an added thickness for that functionality. One glass solution through our program FIT, what Corning's doing is enabling the industry to put all that touch circuitry directly on the cover glass so they don't have a need for those additional substrate layers. So now the device designers can get the fit, the, the touch technology without the added thickness of those substrates. So we're really looking forward to see how that program plays out in the industry. Corning with Gorilla Glass, we find that we get a lot of questions from device makers. They have many touch solutions to choose from. And of course, we're the glass guys, right? We can bring mechanical reliability performance and all that type of information and expertise to them. So as we've seen touch technology and the adoption of Gorilla really start at handheld devices, which might, might be about three inch you know, on a diagonal screen. Um, that, has, that has expanded. We see it going into these slates and tablet type devices uh, today that are maybe 10 or 11 inch diagonal. But then we've all seen the movies. We've seen large touch surfaces, right, on tables. We've seen them on walls. We've seen them, you know, like you might want in a conference room. So we see the same performance of Gorilla Glass that has enabled the handheld and the tablet market you know, when you go into that market, the ability to have a very thin sheet of glass that, again, is resilient to touch interfaces um, and the ability that we can make large format sheets of thin glass, as we've been doing in the display industry, uh, we see that as a strong market that, that we are investigating today. So we've really been surprised with Gorilla Glass in the consumer market, especially with the design community. As we work with the ID teams at Consumer Electronics, we've, they've really opened their eyes that glass is a, is a material now that they can design with. They've been used to plastic, aluminum, and metals, and now glass gives them a whole new option. What's really exciting about this is you can imagine having this thin glass and taking the consumer electronic approach and moving it into the kitchen, for example, in an appliance. So you could have that touch and display very close to the surface so you get really good perfor touch performance. And again, that optical clarity gives a really clean look. And, and really, many companies, appliance manufacturers, and even in architecture in many areas, we're seeing that this is opening their eyes and the design community is really embracing this as a, as a new uh, way to push design.